Previously on iTown Kids, after months of high-speed go-kart racing, Blake and Nettie finally qualified for the mother of all races, the ultimate go-kart race extravaganza race. But once Nettie discovered that he would be racing against his friend Miles and his sponsor, Bob Orlando, Nettie became worried and even considered giving up racing altogether. But thanks to the help of Mr. Blake and country music star Hank Brooks Jr., Nettie was back on the path to greatness. In preparation for the ultimate go-kart race extravaganza race, Nettie and his coach, Mr. Blake, seek the help of the best mechanic in the Tri-County area, Mechanic Murray, in order to make their kart the best it can be. After reviewing the map of the course, Mechanic Murray advised the team to make their cart lighter and more agile to maximize its chances of winning. Meanwhile, their opponents rev up their cart to be the fastest it has ever been before. Will Nettie beat Miles, or will Nettie's cart explode again? Find out all of this and more, and it all happens next on iTown Kids. <laughs> Nettie, this should be fun! Oh yeah! On your marks, get set, go! Wait! Uh, before we start the race, we need to hear a word from our sponsors! What? Uh, this seems categorically preposterous! Uh, huh? It, it seems really silly. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Totes! a close one we almost started the race too early and as we all know you can't start a race before it actually starts and <laughs> that's racing 101 well everybody hello i am wendell and this is my co-host steve or as my mom calls me stevie poo <laughs> welcome to the ultimate go-kart race extravaganza race between nettie and miles nettie is sponsored by mr blake and the treehouse racing team and Miles is sponsored by my favorite local chain of grocery stores, Bob Orlando Supermarkets. I love potatoes there. <laughs> wow, yep, they are delicious, Steve, and fairly priced. All right, let's go ahead and check in with our two sponsors. Let's kick it down to our new field reporter, Miss Haley Beth. Oh, hey, Miss Haley Beth. It's me, Steve, remember? Thank you, Wendell, and hello, Steve. I'm standing here with Nettie's coach and sponsor, Mr. Blake. Hey, Miss Haley Beth, and hi, everyone out there. Mr. Blake, it's finally here, the big race day. As the coach, what did you tell your driver, Nettie? Well, Miss Haley Beth, lately we've been talking about how amazing that God is and his plans for us. It says in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So, we know that God has called us to greatness. We just need to stop worrying and focusing on our problems and start obeying Jesus and the plans that he has called us to. That's amazing. Did you give Nettie any kind of main point to focus on today? You know, I sure did, Miss Haley Beth. Today's main point is today I will become who God created me to be. Wow, that's an amazing main point. It sure is. Come on, let's say it all together, everyone. Today I will become. Today I'll become. Who God created me to be. Who God created me to be. Well, thank you, Mr. Blake. Thanks, and thank you so much for the opportunity to give an interview and to God be the glory today. Well, there you have it, folks. Sheer excitement from Team Nettie. Oh, and here's a sponsor of Team Miles, local grocery store chain owner and agent to the stars, Bob Orlando. Mr. Bob Orlando, do you have a second? Oh, hello, yes, of course. I always have a second for the camera. <laughs> hello, Bob Orlando here, agent to the stars and owner of Bob Orlando Supermarkets. We have the best prices on ketchup. I promise you, you need ketchup, you know where to go. 
Um, Mr. Bob Orlando, do you have anything to say about the race? What? What race? The race that your driver Miles is about to race? The ultimate go-kart race extravaganza race? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Miles is gonna win by miles. Pun intended. I guarantee that! Wow, so what did you tell your driver before the race? I said, hey, Miles, do you know the password for the Wi-Fi around here? And he said he wasn't sure, but he needed to focus on the race. And I said, what race? And he said, the ultimate go-kart race extravaganza race. And I said, oh yeah, that thing. Okay, did you have a main point for Miles today? What? No! Do you think I'm trying to teach him something? No, I'm not! All I want to do is win! Hey, I gotta go! Bob Orlando, out! Okay, wow. Well, Wendell, you heard it from the coaches and the sponsors. Everyone is excited for this race. Back to you, Wendell and Steve. All right, thank you, Miss Haley Beth. Wow, two very different approaches, Steve. Yeah, one of the coaches owns a treehouse, and the other owns a chain of local supermarkets. It's like um, trying to compare apples to oranges, which are actually pretty similar. They both are fruit, round, and taste great. <laughs> wow, now I'm hungry. Do we have any apples or oranges? I'm sure we do, Steve. But first, let's talk about that main point that Mr. Blake was talking about. Uh, yes, let's talk about it. Today, I will become who God created me to be. That is stellar. I think it's really going to be a difference maker in today's race, Steve. Wait, there's a race today? Yes, it's the ultimate goat kart race extravaganza race, and it's just about to start. Wow, I love goat kart racing. <laughs> okay, here we go. Natty and Miles, are you ready? On your marks. Get a pet, maybe a puppy or a fish. Uh, Steve, I believe you were supposed to say get set. Oh, yeah, uh, that sounds way better. <laughs> uh, indeed. Get set. And go! Nettie, what's the matter? My card stalled! We're gonna lose! No, Nettie, you can do this. All you gotta do is stop focusing on your problems and start focusing on where God has called you to be. And do your best, and God will do the rest. Boom! You're back up and running! Oh yeah! Now, as we get going, let's go over our core values. I know they will help you focus on where God is calling you. Today, I will become who God has created me to be. Let's do this! <laughs> I know you can do it, Debbie! Go get him! Hey everybody, it's Mechanic Murray. It's time for Core Values. I'm gonna teach you how to fix a go-kart core value style. If you're ready, everybody say, let's go! All right, core value number one, love God. Just like this go-kart needs high-performing gasoline right here in the engine, we also need the love of God in our hearts. So, on the count of three, when I pour this high-quality gasoline into this engine, let's say, love God. Are you ready? One, two, three. Love God. All right, core value number two. Love people because God loves all people. In fact, we have to make room in our heart for the people that God calls us to love. Just like this go-kart has room enough for two. Keep in mind, don't be selfish. Make room in your heart for others. And so on the count of three, we're going to give ourselves a great big hug. And we're going to love people. Are you ready? One, two, three. Love people. All right, core value number three. Do your best. Just like this amazing go-kart has a steering wheel to keep it on the road, because you know in life, just like in driving, it can be pretty scary out there. A lot of potholes, a lot of things to avoid, and you gotta make sure you're on the road the right way. And so, with Jesus, we can do our best if we let him help us steer our life in the right direction. So on the count of three, let's do our best. So grab that steering wheel and let's do our best. One, two, three, do your best. All right, core value number four, have fun. Because God wants us to have joy. And so after we've done everything, getting this car ready for race day, it's time to race and have some fun. Hopefully you win. And so on the count of three, at your best, 
Mechanic Murray voice, I want you to say, have fun. You ready? One, two, three. Have fun. All right, that was Core Values, Mechanic Murray style. Hope you had fun. Hey, I'll see you out there on the track. extravaganza race after a slow start Nettie is really starting to catch up it seems as though he was really strengthened by his core values Steve and as for me I never eat a core of an apple never let's check in with our racers they're coming down the straightaway on the fifth lap <laughs> Wow, the graphics on this video game look so realistic! Uh, is this a PS5? Uh, this looks so real. Well, that's because it is real, Steve! Goodbye, Uncanny Valley! <laughs> wow! Um, okay! But wow! Nettie is really starting to catch up! Here we go! Come on! Hey, Nettie, how's it going? Uh, pretty good! I feel like it might be impossible to win, though! Nettie, why do you say that? I just can't see how we're gonna pass Miles' cart! I just feel like maybe I shouldn't even have tried! Nettie, uh, of course you should try! You are a great racer! God has given you gifts and talents, and you have used those to build and drive this cart! Yeah, I guess! You need some encouragement ASAP! Well, I really do! The best place to get encouragement is from God's Word, the Bible, and I know just the person who can help us! Oh yeah! Miss Ashley! 
That's right. Take it away, Miss Ashley. Hey everyone, it's me, Miss Ashley, and it's time for our memory verse. Remember, we do our memory verse so that we can keep it in our hearts all the time. Our verse today comes from the book of Romans, and it's an incredible reminder that God works all things for the good. Sometimes it can feel like God is far away, but we can know He is always there working all things for the good. So when you're ready, say, let's go. Let's go! Awesome. We're going to say the verse three times. First, I'll say it, then you're going to repeat after me, and then we're going to say it all together. Okay, let's go. We know that all things work together for the good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Woohoo! Romans 8 28. Okay, now repeat after me. We know that all things work together for the good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Woohoo! Romans 8:28. Wow, that was amazing. Now let's say it all together. We know that all things work together for the good, for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Woohoo! Romans 8 28. Great job, racers. You made it to the finish. Now remember, keep saying it and keep it in your heart. Wow! That's exactly what I needed to hear! Thanks, Miss Ashley! And thanks, Mr. Blake! No problem. Oh, oh, Nettie, it looks like you've almost caught up to Miles. All right, you can do it, Nettie. Yeah, I could if I had more engines. We should have put more engines on and not listen to Mechanic Murray. Sure, the cart is lighter and more agile, but we're still behind Miles' cart. Nettie, you know it's important to obey our leaders, coaches, and parents. God has put them in our lives for a reason, to help us stay on the path that God has called us to. Mechanic Murray wants to help you to win the race, and so do I. We wouldn't suggest to do something that would hurt you. It's the same with God. He wants the best for you. Oh, I know he does, but I don't understand how obeying my coaches and dropping my mini horsepower count is helping me now. Hmm. Well, Nettie, do you remember Gideon? Um, yeah! He owns the donut shop next to Godfather's Pizza! <laughs> no, I mean Gideon from the Bible. We've been talking about him lately, you know, the mighty man of valor. Oh, that Gideon! Yeah, when God's people, the Israelites, were under attack by the Midianites, God called Gideon to help rescue them! Yep. Well, there's one more story that we haven't talked about with Gideon yet, and that's when Gideon led his 300 men into the big battle against the Midianites army of over 100,000 men. And since we are almost headed into our final lap in our big battle, I think now is the perfect time for a true story from the Bible. I'm all ears, Mr. Blake! This is a true story from the Bible, from the book of Judges, about an unlikely hero named Gideon. Gideon was a simple farmer who was called by God to greatness. He was to lead an army of his people to defeat their adversaries, the Midianites. Gideon obeyed God's command to lead the army and even limit the army to a mere 300 men despite being worried. God told Gideon and his chosen men to surround the nearby enemy camp in the dark of night. The troops prepared for what seemed like an insane battle plan, armed with a torch, base and a horn, the men were instructed to blow the horns as loud as they could, smash the bases, and wave their fiery torches high into the sky. Gideon gave the signal to his men, and the terrifying sound of horns bellowed throughout the enemy camp. And in the confusion, the enemy men even began to fight one another. And eventually, it caused them to run and flee from their camp. This incredible display of courage and trust gave Gideon and his men the victory. The calling that Gideon had on his life was huge, but Gideon knew that he was called to greatness, and then on that day, he would become 
who God created him to be. God called Gideon to greatness back in the wine press when Gideon was afraid and hiding from his enemy. But on that day, he finally started to become who God called him to be. And every day moving forward as he stopped worrying and started obeying God, he was becoming who God created him to be. Then, on the day of the big battle, he was exactly who God had called him to be. Gideon, the mighty man of valor. With God's help and plan, he defeated an army of over 100,000 with just 300 men. Wow! So, all along, he just needed to stop worrying and start obeying! That does it! No more worrying! No more disobedience! I know God has called me to greatness! I'm ready! Today, I will become who God created me to be! All right, this is the final lap. Let's do this! This is the final lap, Wendell, which simply means that after this lap, the race is over. And the winner is declared, and then I go home and eat yummy, delicious tacos. <laughs> My mom made them. They're so good. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Well, Nettie is trying to catch up and beat Miles. The race is coming down to the wire! Okay, coach, what's the plan? Well, Nettie, on the last turn before the finish line, Miles has been accelerating every single time, almost causing him and his car to fly off the course. Nettie, you're close enough and your car is light enough that you can scoot in on the inside lane on the turn, and then once you hit the straightaway, punch it. You got it, coach. Today, I will become who God created me to be. They are coming into the final turn. If Nettie is gonna make a move, he needs to do it now! Okay, almost there. Hey, Miles! Uh, yes, Mr. Bob Orlando? Nettie is getting too close. I thought we were gonna win by a landslide. Uh, Nettie is a very good racer, sir. That's it, I'm taking control of the cart with the remote control I had installed behind your back. Here we go, Put the controls there, perfect. Full speed turbo boosters into the final turn. Uh, um, sir, if you do that, then the cart has a high probability of- A high probability of winning. Punch it, Bob Orlando, halt! Uh, oh no, uh, slow down, uh, watch that turn, oh! Oh wow, Miles Card is speeding into the final turn. He is slightly losing control. This is unbelievable! Hey, Nettie. Yeah, Mr. B? Now's your chance, let's do this. Oh yeah! Wow! Holy moly, Nettie takes the inside map with his lighter and more agile card. Genius move by Team Nettie. Is this really happening? Can a cart with 300 mini horsepower actually beat a cart with over 100,000 mini horsepower? They're coming down the home stretch and Nettie crosses the finish line first. Nettie wins. Nettie wins. Oh my goodness. Steve, do you have anything to add? Nettie wins. And today, Nettie became who God created him to be. Wow. Wow. Well said, Steve. Wow, this was a great practice for the actual race. This, this, this was the real race. Oh, well, I thought it would be more exciting than that. Let's check down with our field reporter, Miss Haley Beth. Steve, you really gotta calm down on that. <laughs> Nettie, yes, you we did, did it. it, you did we it. did it, praise God. <laughs> oh, Nettie, man. do you have anything to say after that amazing win? Yes. I want to firstly thank Jesus. He deserves all the praise and glory. He put amazing people in my life to help me on my journey to go from where I was to where God wants me to be. I want to thank people like Hank Brooks Jr. and Mechanic Murray and my good friend and mentor, Mr. Boyd. Thanks, Nettie. I'm so proud of you. Well, it seems like that main point really helped out today. Today, I will become who God created me to be. Yeah. What? I lost! How could I lose to Mr. Rake and that little netty guy? Ah, oh, I better go back to being an agent to the stars and running my very successful Bob Orlando Supermarkets, number one in the Tri-County area. As long as you don't count the other two guys. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. I didn't really want to win this anyways. Let's get the extra pudding loaded into my car. Come on, Bob Orlando, out!
trophy looks amazing. I'm so glad that Nettie stopped worrying and started obeying God. Because of it, he was able to be who God created him to be, and he was able to win his race. Uh, just like Gideon. Gideon was worrying about the Midianites, but when he stopped and he started to obey God, he was able to be the mighty man of valor that God created him to be. He won the race that God placed on his life. But maybe you're feeling worried today. Maybe you're feeling like there's a lot of speed bumps in your way, and maybe you're feeling a bit off track. If that's you, I wanna tell you that God is with you. God created you for a purpose, and he has a race for you to win. And the coolest part is you don't have to drive alone. He is right by your side, and he wants to be your very best friend. All you have to do is ask. So right now, I want you to close your eyes, bow your heads, and say this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for me. Come into my heart. Forgive me of my mistakes. Make me brand new and help me to win my race. Lord, I love you and I thank you. And it's in your name we pray. And all God's people said, amen. Wow, if that was your very first time asking God into your heart, then I wanna tell you that I am so proud of you. And I want you to tell somebody in your life that you love and trust because they're gonna be so proud of you too. Mr. Blake, Mr. Blake, Mr. Blake! <laughs> hey, Nettie, what's up? Oh, not much. Just super excited about winning the ultimate go-kart race extravaganza race. <laughs> yeah, that really was awesome. Who's here? I don't know. Uh, hey, Nettie. Hey, Mr. Blake. Hey, Miles. It's good to see you, Miles. Uh, hey, I, I wanted to stop by and say, great job on the race. Um, your go-kart was built perfectly for the race course, and your driving, it was amazing. Ah, thanks, Miles. Also, I wanted to let you know that I am no longer part of the Bob Orlando's World's Greatest Go-Kart Team team. I only joined the team because I thought it would be just like the experience I have at Bob Orlando's supermarkets a friendly and great inventory. But it was far from that. Uh, well, Miles, would you like to join the Treehouse Go-Kart Racing Team? Oh, you gotta say yes! Will you join? Affirmative! Uh, what? I think that's Frenchy speaking. Actually, it's English and it means yes. I would love to join. Woohoo! <laughs> Miles, you gotta hear our team theme song. It's by Hank Brooks Jr. and his band, Waterfall Fireworks. The song is titled Call to Greatness. Let's hear it. Hit it. Driving from where we are to where God has called us With God by our side there's no need for us to fuss He wants the best for us, he has amazing plans Makes me so happy, we should all square dance He's working all things for the good He's working all things for the good All those called to his purpose, well you can be sure He's working all things for the good They call the greatness, call the greatness You're fearfully and wonderfully made Jesus died for you, your debt has been paid He's given you a hope and a future His word is a real life booster So stand to your feet and say I'm called the greatness, I'm called the greatness Because of Jesus, we're called the greatness Take it, good. Hey, Blake, let's do it like old times Hey, yeah, you and me, we're called the great, great as can be God made me and God made you, his plan is perfect, to dream come true Follow his path and tip your hat, no matter what, he's got your back Come on, come on, let's talk your boots, just stick with God and let it loose He's working all things for the good He's working all things for the good All those called to his purpose, well you can be sure He's working all things for the good You're called the greatness 
hope of greatness You're fearfully and wonderfully made Jesus died for you, your death and pain He's given you a hope in the future His word is a real life poster So stand to your feet and say I'm called to greatness, called to greatness Because of Jesus, we're called to greatness I'm called to greatness, we're called to greatness We're called to greatness Well, let's get ready for the next race. And remember everyone, today I will become who God created me to be. Come on, let's get down to the garage and get to work. Whoa, Mr. Blake, remember, we have an elevator to go down to our garage. Whoa, that sounds amazing. Oh yeah, and I fixed it, Mr. Blake. So now it's super fast. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I am. Here we go. <sighs> wow, <laughs> Nettie, this is slower than before. Ah, oh wait, we forgot to hit the booster. Boosters. Common problem, am I right, Miles? <laughs> I guess so. Okay, and booster! Ah! Well, that was faster. Yeah! Oh, I think I lost my toupee! I knew it! <laughs> <laughs>